Hey guys, it's Faze Bro. I'm back for another MLP reaction. Today I'm going to be reacting to episode 21. Daring Doubt. Oh boy, I know what this is going to be. This is going to be our final Daring Do episode for the series. Guess we're saying goodbye to her too. I'll probably be honest with you guys, I was never really a fan of Daring Do. I mean, I liked her when she was a friction point, but once they introduced her as a real life pony character, it's just kind of... Nah. It's funny, as much as I like Harry Potter and Indiana Jones, I really, for some reason, I just don't really like Daring Do all that much. I guess I liked her when she was, you know, in the book. You know, I just didn't like her when they actually made her a character. I know, some of you are probably saying, oh, you're a Daring Do hater, but hey, you know what? Not everybody likes, you know, every single character in the show. I mean, she's still cool, she's still, you know awesome and everything, just like Rainbow Dash, I know. But, you know, at least we get to see her one last time before the show ends. And, uh, I really don't have any other, uh, I don't have any Rainbow Dash or Daring Duke plushie, so I decided to have this one. Dinky! <laughs> Dinky here, I got her back in, uh, BronyCon 2015. She's been with me for a very long time. I'm gonna miss seeing this pony in the background. Oh well, all things got come to an end eventually, and I probably wasted enough time talking here, so let's get on with the episode. So here we go. Reaction starting in three, two, one, go. Fluttershy! <laughs> and she's got a oh, Jerry Jew book. I just stopped by to thank you for letting me borrow your Jerry Jew books. I love them. Why don't wow. you get to Jerry Jew and the riddle of the Sphinx? Actually, my second time through, I read them all from Daring Do in the Sun. Now Fluttershy's a fan. Daring Do in the Fallen Idol. Fallen Idol? That's not in the series. Oh, what Fallen it Idol? Just came out last week. Maybe that's why you haven't heard of it. Uh -oh. No way. Is it book she hasn't Daring heard of? Daring biggest fan. Me. What is the book coming out? Besides, AK Nerling always sends me a copy. Well, I'm happy. Not this time, apparently. Yours arrives. The true story of the thieving fraud known as Daring Do? What? Fraud? Why would AK Yearling write that about herself? Oh, it looks like she didn't. This book says it's by Groom QQ Martingale. Who? Something doesn't book. seem right here. I smell that a rat. One. The only thing worse than Daring Do's destruction of temples is her cruelty to the mild mannered Dr. Cavaleron? It was He's behind this, isn't he? Isn't he? He published this book. He's trying to ruin her reputation, isn't he? Listen, Daring Do isn't just a fictional character from over-the-top adventure stories. I've met her, and she is a real live pony! That's supposed to be a secret! We are the only ones who know Daring Do is really a yearling in disguise. But if other ponies read this book, how long will it take them to figure that out? We have to go warn her! Fluttershy! Really, Fluttershy? My little pony, my little pony. Ah. My little pony. Why is that so loud? There we go. Uh, I really got nothing much to say during this, uh, this intro. I've heard it a million times by now. to Dr. Caballeron's life choices. Did you know he's actually a history professor and amateur bird watcher? Really? You don't writer. say! A random writer trashes our friend and he poses her secret Am I saying the right? want to talk about birds! Also spider cruelty. <laughs> spider cruelty! Do wrecks a lot of spider webs in her adventures. Really? In order to save precious artifacts from the bad guy. Who you seem to have forgotten is Dr. Cavalera! Are you sure you read the same series I did? Well, at least A.K. Yearling's true fans know Martingale's book is 
bogus. I'm not sure those are all fans. Huh? Why didn't your books say Daring Do is real? This changes everything! Yeah, and why do you only write about her good side? Is she bribing you? On page 531, it says Daring Do kicks puppies! She does! Hey. What? No! Look, are any of you here for my actual book signing? Uh, no. 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 Uh -uh. Frankly, I don't even know how you could call it fiction if it's all real. Uh, you're as much of a fake as Daring Do. Yeah. <laughs> I guess we're a little late to Someone is really trying books. to destroy her reputation. <sighs> I always feared that someday every pony would learn Daring Do was real. But why? Aren't you proud of your adventures? Of course, but I'm not in it for the fame. The stories just seem too good to keep to myself. I wish I knew who this Martindale author was, and why he's determined to ruin my character. And me! Maybe we can ask him. No way! He's doing a signing across the street? Really? You'd better go without me. I can't risk the chance Martingale might recognize me as Daring Do. She's got a point there. Oops. It's Kevlar on, Sorry. isn't it? Excuse us. <gasps> That's not Martingale. Yep. It's Dr. Cavalier on a disguise. Yep. It all makes sense. I figured. Daring Do's arch nemesis created a fake author self so he can write books that make him sound like a hero. Who does that? Uh, A.K. Yearly? This is totally different. Well, well, well. Up to your old tricks again, huh? Just like in Somnambula. Spreading lies to make Daring Do look bad. Would you sign your book? I'm really, Fluttershy? I'm just a simple author. Telling it like it is. Uh, who should I make it out to? Fluttershy. Really? You don't fool we me, know Buster. Really and unless you want us to tell all of them, you'd better answer some questions. I'm afraid that's all we have time for today. Oh. But please, take a free copy of my book on your way out. Yeah. Yeah. We aren't going to let you get away with this, Cavalier on. Get away with what? Merely telling my side of the story. Of what? course you are! You think everything in A.K. Yearling's books are true? Yearling do in the Kessel's Crest, she states that the fang thorn flowers are red. In fact, they are blue. It's true. They are. <laughs> that sounds like more of an editor's mistake. Still, if that is wrong, is it not possible that other bigger things are too? Take a look. It's in my book. But I don't have to take your word for it. Come on, Fluttershy! Seriously, that disguise is so weak, man. It is terrible being misunderstood. It is true in the past. I have Fluttershy, don't you fall for good, him! I should, but I have my reasons. Want to talk about what happened? Uh. My team and I were only ever interested in researching artifacts and taking them to our museum where other ponies could study them. He's making but it sound like he's the innocent victim here. With her own plans. I offered to team up with her, but she refused. She had her own ideas of where the treasures belong. I mean, you did have a lot of artifacts on your shelves at home. But didn't you try to sell them to the highest bidder? Yeah! Oh, I had to. Since Daddy Who kept taking our artifacts on a museum close. Yes, for money to keep it open. She does destroy a lot of ancient sites, not to mention the homes of the animals that live there. And I felt it was my duty to tell the world. Thank you for listening and understanding, Ms. Fluttershy, two teeth. And I am Dr. Cavalier. Martin Gale is merely a nom de plume to build my brand. You know, my team could use an insightful page. He's gonna try and swoo her over to his side. Have you ever thought of being an adventurer? Who, me? Fluttershy, don't! Finally! What took you so long? I decided to find out which author is really telling the truth. So I joined Dr. C's Tenochtitlan expedition. What? Say what? What? 
the way she said that, that was funny. Wow. So Darren, you doesn't kick puppies? That no. one time! Accidentally! Hey Dave, you have to help me! Group QQ Mark Field is really going for Camelera, and he has Fluttershy! The book thing was his new plan to ruin Darren Dude's reputation! And he's trying to make my friend a Uh, Rude Dash, there's a filly in the room. He must be after the true talisman of Tornatio. It requires the wings of a Pegasus to retrieve it. That's gotta be why Cavalera tricked Fluttershy into joining his gang! It's up to us to stop him! Whoa. Yeah! They just revealed herself to a telly. Real smart! Watch where you put your hooves, everybody. We do not want to disturb the fragile jungle ecosystem. Yeah, ecosystem. So you don't give a shit. Yes, unlike Danny do. Slashes, plants aside with a cruel machete. Thank you. Fool! Don't you know that's poison? I don't want you to get hurt, my friend. <laughs> but I'm hungry. Oh, I can help with that. Here. You are willing to share? Of course. That's part of the fun of having an adventure with friends. <laughs> oh no, is he gonna have a change of heart? Panther! Bobcat! Leopard! Oh. Kitty cat! Really? That's funny, misconception. Have you ever tried just talking to them? That's crazy! Not everybody can talk to animals like you can, Fluttershy! He's a goner. I can't watch! Oh, did you do that? Every creature likes to be listened to. You just need to take the time to understand them. You are more talented than I realized. Thanks. That's our Fluttershy! Best time with you all! Fluttershy must be having the worst time with Cavalera's goons. We need to catch up to They're the They're actually gonna become friends. Why? What's so special about it? He has the power to make the pony holding it tell the truth. But Cavalera only wants it because it's made of solid gold. He'll melt it down and use it to get rich. So if this talisman is so important, why didn't you already save it? You said only a Pegasus can get it, right? Yes, but the temple traps are far too dangerous to face without a map. And maybe even with one. Oh boy. Boss, how about we take the shortcut? How about you be quiet? <laughs> I mean, no thank you, Biff. Let's just follow the map. Biff? Oh, I'm supposed to be Dr. C's second in command. Never listens to me. Well, keep trying. I believe in you. <laughs> that was cute. At last. Now we simply have to wait for the sun to reach its highest point. Okay. Our path will be revealed. <gasps> what are those? Spiderflies. Fighters! Fighters! Is that what they're called? There they are! We can catch them before they enter the temple. Yeah. Uh-oh. Get back, Rainbow Dash! Yeah. Ali Zotal! Ali Zotal's here? <laughs> Daring do, my old nemesis. I was wondering if he was ever gonna appear again. Jungle cats, but you cannot escape me! <laughs> Oh, those were his cats! It must be a coincidence that only a Pegasus can retrieve Tonatiu's treasure. And there are two of you here. Oh dear. Sorry, Kitty.
got the hat. That was cutting it close. Too close. And without a map, we'll have to guess which way to go. Oh, no. I knew the true talisman could not be moved by magic, but I never realized we'd have to fly to retrieve it. Don't do it, Fluttershy. Don't be upset. I can get it. Oh, Fluttershy, you are too kind. Don't touch it. I could never ask that of you. It might be dangerous. I wanted to. There's a trap. For all of you, my new friends, and to protect a historical treasure. Yep, I knew it. It's a trap. Oh boy. 
what just happened. Everyone, both her, her enemies became authors. <laughs> and we're trying to tell their sides of the story. Okay. That one actually was pretty good. So I guess that brings the Daring Do thing to a closure. So... Her arch nemesis was just misunderstood. He wasn't evil after all. Then again, Cavaliaron still was because he was trying to sell the artifact for money. But now he's redeemed, Zalizotl, well, he isn't really technically redeemed since he never truly was evil to begin with. Daring Do was stealing from him and his people, so... I guess you could say Daring was kind of the antagonist here. But she didn't really realize that she was stealing, you know? But I guess it all comes together in the end, so... Yeah, that was a pretty fun. I like how Fluttershy, you know, showed us, you know, everyone deserves... She, she's right, everyone deserves kindness, you know, chance to tell their side of the story. So, yeah, that was pretty good. I liked it. It was pretty good. I guess that's it for now. Until next time, I'm Lazebro. I'll catch you guys later. <laughs>